So let me address Rudy's video, his most recent video about this is depressing or whatever. It looks like he's going to drop MetaZoo. He expresses a lot of disappointment in MetaZoo. He's text messaged the owner. He can't get anyone to pick up the phone or text him back. And it looks like he is done with MetaZoo. Now, of course, Legends Story, Legends Studio Story, whatever, they are done with Rudy. Rudy has been undercutting the market. Uh, they didn't give him any special cards anymore. This was the Rudy Gem Keeper, right? He's got at least one Rudy card. Game stores have complained, and game stores are the lifeblood of flesh and blood, pun intended. And obviously, they have a lot of say, because if they think Rudy is undercutting them, they're not going to carry the game. This is exactly what MetaZoo did. MetaZoo is screwed because Rudy was dumping MetaZoo on the crowns, right? He made it be like, oh, a family affair. No one can criticize that when he's literally having his child make the artwork for it. And that's the quality of artwork that is being given to these Timmies is literally that. Now that he has abandoned MetaZoo, your cards are worthless. They're worthless. Uh, he's supposedly there where Pancho was making other promos. He wants to get hold of those promos. MetaZoo says no. And like I said, the Hello Kitty thing was a disaster. Why would any local game store... Because they have, you have overhead. You have to hire an employee to run events. You have to have space, electricity, internet. Why would any local game store carry a product and, there, and therefore promote a product where... It's currently selling for less than $60 shipped. And you bought the product for $70. There's no profit margin. Not only are you not happy to have people sit there for free. You're just never going to sell the product again. Because you're never going to order it again. I don't know why. what, what game store is going to order a product. And lose $20 or booster box on that product. And then provide a game space for that player base. None. Flesh and Blood is making the right move. They cannot have, even privately, they cannot have Rudy undercutting their local game stores. That's just not fair. Those local game stores are providing a place to play. They're providing tournaments, doing rewards. I mean, that's stuff that Alpha Investments can do, but he does. He chooses not to do. So why should you reward him with a playmat or his own code foil cards and so on? You, you don't. Because... If you do, then every game store will drop you. And as crazy as this sounds, um, he was always going to dump both Flesh and Blood and MetaZoo and move on to Sorcery or One Piece or Locana. Don't be surprised if this guy moves on to Disney Locana, even though he's been incredibly negative on it. He doesn't have much choice now. Magic the Gathering, I still think is shit. I would not advise anyone to buy Magic the Gathering from him. You can get it cheaper online. You just can't. When you input the $15, if you're only interested in one collector's, two collector's, you can get it cheaper. It's called Amazon. They have a sale. It's called Prime Day, guys. Prime Day. Um, yeah, his recent prices, and I have all his emails. Like, you don't think I have all his emails for the Patreons? His prices have not been competitive to Amazon. Amazon has much lower prices than him because... Their prices are often substantially lower than distributor prices. And uh, yeah, that's Amazon. So yeah, he was always going to uh, dump these two games. Now, the difference is he dumped MetaZoo after selling the, what was it called? MetaZoo through the ages. Right, one last pump on these stupid Timmies. The, the dumbass Timmies, right? And then... Flesh and Blood dumped him. Flesh and Blood will be okay. I might actually play Flesh and Blood in the future. I might even cover the content now that the that this individual, Rudy, has stopped pumping it and dumping it. I might even carry it in my future store. Who knows? Might be a good game. I never had an issue with the game. I just had an... Every game store has the same issue of Alpha Investment. He undercuts everyone. But doesn't offer play space. Like, it is very... Very discouraging 
when your players are saying, hey, man, I got that new program from Alpha. They won't give you a dime, my dudes. There are some players out there who won't, who will pay Rudy $8,200 for a Meta Zoo kit. But they won't give you eight cents to play in your local game store. But I think what happened is actually the local game stores, they rallied together and told Legend's story, hey, if you continue to prop up this dude, we're out. And that's been my point all along. Alpha Investments has been to us, the local game store, and Amazon. Amazon is to him what Alpha Investments is to us. It is a way to undercut with minimal overhead. Sounds good in theory, but then where are you going to play? And play in Alpha Investments basement? You think he'll let you in? The number of dumbasses who are thinking that they want to give him a hug or give him a high five, you think he would allow you to hug him? Hell fucking no. <laughs> Hell fuck. Try it. Try it. He doesn't know who the F you are. <laughs> you may be his biggest Timmy patron. He still has... You know, the, the one thing I got from the some of the high rollers who were paying him $100 a month, they he will disrespect you, right? In fact, the guy whose collection I have behind me was very, very much disrespected by Alpha Investments. And, and that's why he left. Um, a lot of the people, they're leaving. They're leaving in droves. And you can tell on his face that's true. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have any product I can buy. Otherwise, I would buy it. But it's all this Meta Zoo shit <laughs> that no one wants. Flesh and blood, you might got you might got a future, my dudes. You played it right. You had the choice: Alpha Investments or local game stores that actually promote your product, sell your product, that actually have stores that you can play the game. Meta Zoo, there's no hope. I'm now the number one MetaZoo content creator. Trust me, there ain't no hope. <laughs>